All right, as you can see on the screen here, I've got an audio spectrum showing. So you can do this in Premiere Pro and After Effects, so you don't necessarily need to pay for some fancy app. Um, and it's reasonably easy to do, so you don't have to stress about using After Effects. This will also show you how to do an audio waveform if you'd prefer to do a waveform. All right, so I'm in Premiere Pro, so this is my starting point. A couple things is I've done all the edits with the audio that I want to do, and I've, I've got my audio on one layer. So this is important because when you go into After Effects, that waveform or spectrum form is going to select off one layer. Uh, if I did something like this where I have each person on a separate layer, you're going to have to pick like which one you actually want to be showing with the waveform or select multiple waveforms. All right, so in Premiere Pro, I've got it set and ready to go. I'm just going to select everything, my video file, or in this case, an image file, and the audio file. You're going to right click. You're going to go replace with After Effects Composition. It's going to want you to name it and save it somewhere. I'm just going to call this one Demo 2. All right, so as we can see, we've got our composition in After Effects. First thing you want to do in here is you want to go to Layer, New, Solid. And it doesn't matter what color it is, just leave it wherever it is because it's going to go away in just a second anyways. Hit OK, and you've got one solid layer at the top of your other layers. Now what you need to do is go to Effects over on the right. If you don't have your effects, go to Window and make sure to just have Effects and Presets checked. In Effects, just type in Audio. You've got your Audio Spectrum and your Audio Waveform. So this is where I was talking about you can do uh, a Spectrum or a Waveform. Uh, for the purpose of mine, I'm going to do a Spectrum. Just drag and drop it onto that solid layer. And as you see, the color goes away. And we can see here we've got uh, slightly showing is our waveform. Now we need to make some changes to it to make it a little bit more interesting looking. The first thing I want to do is change that start point so that it's actually off to the left here. You can click on it and drag it if you want. Or in the effects control, you've got start point and you can just highlight with your mouse and click and then just drag it a bit to the left. The one underneath it is your end point highlight with the mouse, drag a bit to the right. Now I also don't want it to be in the center of the screen, I want it to be down here. So my start point, I'm going to just drag it down and put it where I want it. I want my end point to be at the, the exact same level as the start point. So I'm just going to highlight that field, select it, copy it, and paste it so that that way it's down there. Okay, now what we need to do is tell it which audio layer to play from. So in this case, I've got my one, which is a Pee Wee bonus. It's about Pee Wee Herman, in case you're wondering why it's called Pee Wee. So now it knows which audio layer to use for the spectrum or waveform. So if I hit play, you can actually see it should start moving a little bit, but you can't really see it too much. So now the rest of these settings, you're going to kind of have to find out what works best for you. I'll show you what I did for this particular one. I left my start frequency where it was. I'm going to change my end frequency to 700. I'm going to change my frequency bands to 50. My maximum height, let's put that at 2000. See how that looks. Yep. Audio duration, I'm going to up that to 100. Audio offset, I'm going to leave that the same. My thickness, I'm going to change that to 5. Uh, my softness, I'm going to put that to 0. I don't want any. And I'm going to change my colors. Okay, a couple other things you can change here if you want is the um, display options. Do you want it digital or analog? So in my case, I'm going to leave it on the digital option. I like the digital, but um, you can change it to whatever you want. Play around with some of the settings and get everything where you want. Hit save. And what's nice about this is it's already connected to Premiere Pro. So jump back into Premiere Pro and you can see we've got our waveform. So you don't need to do any kind of an export from After Effects. It's already connected. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how you do a spectrum or a waveform.